Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is yours truly, Stay At Home Gary. So you probably know me from TikTok, but what you might not know is that for the last eight months, my wife and I have been living in beautiful, sunny Switzerland. <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> but I did actually hear someone yodel one time in the wild. It was an incredible life experience. Many of you might recognize me as TikTok Ned Flanders. Bob the Burglar, maybe? <laughs> uh, Bobby boy. More recently, though, I've been getting a lot of questions about who is stay-at-home Gary? Who is the man behind it all? The man. Who is the myth? The legend. So I thought this video was going to be perfect to introduce myself and walk you through how I became <laughs> the stay-at-home Gary. If you're new to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Everything from TikTok shorts to compilations with bloopers and more stuff on moving to Switzerland in the middle of a pandemic and what it's like to live abroad. So the story of how the name came to be, it's actually a little bit funny. When we knew we were moving to Switzerland, we were on the plane right out here and I knew I wasn't going to be working. So what should my username be? What should my, it has to be catchy has to be great. Now my name is Gary and I've always liked the name Gary. I don't know why. I think it's a funny name. What was I born? A 60 year old man. Name another Gary that isn't under the age of 50. Anyways, got to keep my name somehow in this. And I knew I was going to Switzerland and I figured my content would be very Switzerland beauty based. Pictures of the mountains, the lakes, the scenery. But I didn't want to pigeonhole myself into you know, just Switzerland content. I'm a little bit of a comedic guy, so I knew there would be some sort of comedy bits and skits I wanted to do, so I wanted to make sure it was an all-encompassing username. I think some of the honorable mention names we had were Eat, Drink, and Be Gary, or The Swiss Kid, something like that. It just wasn't right. And then I was thinking, well, okay, what would I even define my profession as? I'm not working, I'm living in Switzerland, I don't have kids, I'm not going to school. I sound like a lazy POS. I thought, what would I put on a resume? And it came to me. I'm a stay-at-home Gary. And the rest is history. But how we got there is a little bit longer of a story. It all started back in 1991. My mother gave birth to a beautiful baby boy who had the strongest, thickest, most well-groomed mustache you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I was born in Rochester, Minnesota. Oh, sure, don't you know? Yeah? No, we don't talk like that. It's more of a whole, you know, the O's get drug, drug out. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we really don't talk like that. Anyways, grew up with my parents and my one older brother. You might know Rochester from the Mayo Clinic or IBM headquarters, but for me, it's just a little old home. So after high school, I pursued a degree in accounting, which I obtained from Bemidji State University. Go Beavers! That was our mascot. So I got my degree in accounting, but I realized I absolutely hate accounting. So I'm sitting here with this degree and nothing to do with it, or I don't want anything to do with it. Uh, so I decided, well, what's the closest thing? I don't know, finance, banking. So I got into banking. It was a couple years into college where I decided to take the big leap to the Big Apple, as we call it in Minnesota. Minneapolis. Yeah, not New York City. But a few years into college, I met my beautiful girlfriend at the time, now wife, where my life changed for the better. Good answer, good answer. So it was a few years after meeting her that she got an opportunity to move out to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Love Philly. First thing I did when I got off the plane was bought a cheese stick. I highly recommend going to Jim's on South Street or Delisandro's. One whiz wit. Ah, can't go wrong with any cheesesteak in Philly. I'm dead serious. Now for me, I was in banking. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. But I was thinking I want a little bit of a change. And I'm kind of a, a smooth talker. So I figured, why not try out sales, right? You can make some money in that. It's a good stepping stone to a lot of things. So let's give it a shot. And I got a job working sales for a third-party logistic firm. Just about as boring as it sounds. I uh, really was feeling stuck. I didn't really like it at all. It was uh, a couple years had gone by and the only thing I liked was the coworkers. It's actually amazing how long you can work at a job that you hate when you have amazing coworkers. Shout out to all my coworkers out there who made life bearable. So I'm feeling down the dumps and then just then, my wife gets a call and says, hey, 
there's a job in Switzerland, would you be interested? We were so all in, I was so ready to move. The position ended up not getting filled. No one got the job. Heartbroken, oh. I guess we'll just have to live in the States the rest of our lives, you know, whatever. So we went about our life. I knew I was stuck, so I had to get another job. So that's when I went into promotional marketing sales, way more fun. Custom Inc, basically selling merch. Influencers, companies, whoever needed anything branded. Wonderful organization, amazing people. I pray I get an opportunity to work with them again someday. So now we're both happy with our lives on the East Coast. We're both enjoying work, enjoying our life. Then my wife gets another call. A new position out in Switzerland. We would love to have her apply. Oh, instantly we're so excited again. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in Switzerland? I definitely got my hopes up the first time. I have to ground myself a little bit more. Sure enough, she was out there interviewing when the travel ban was put on for the pandemic. So that was scary, wondering if she'd even be able to make it home. Thankfully she did, she got the job, and then it was logistics of how are we gonna move during a pandemic, which way more of that to come in future videos. But we were moving to Switzerland. Definitely sad to say goodbye to our friends and family back home. But again, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So, like who wouldn't? And what we didn't know is how wonderful we'd be set up where I don't have to work right away. Well, who knows, maybe in a year of being out there after we get settled, yeah, maybe I'll tutor some kids English or who knows, maybe there's an American company who needs some overnight help. Hey, maybe I could go on Twitch and play some video games. But then I thought, well, I don't wanna sit inside all day if I'm living in Switzerland. So I knew I had options, but for the meantime, I wanted to do something for my family, keep them up to date with all of our adventures. So I decided, why not start a TikTok? What's the worst that could happen? It was actually through my last job of Custom Inc where I was working with a few TikTokers who wanted their own merch line. So I watched them and I saw what they were doing and I thought it was a lot of fun. I'm a little bit of a comedian at heart. So I knew I was gonna be doing some trends and some comedy bits, you know, just being myself. Really is when we stumbled onto Bob the Burglar, one of my signature characters, who I thought was gonna be a one video trend, which turned into a 33 part series and led to three other characters, including my Flanders cosplay. Bob is kind of what set this TikTok thing on fire. And the rest is history. Cause here we are eight months later, over half a million followers, and we're just getting started. So that's how I became the Stay at Home Gary. Definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button. Way more shenanigans coming. And there's more cosplays and characters I've got that I'm gonna be bringing to YouTube, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Yes, I said shenanigans. Make sure to drop a like and comment with whatever you wanna see from me here in Switzerland. And I promise you, the best is yet to come. Or, Best person to say shenanigans. How's that go? And walking you through just how I became. <laughs> I don't know what I do with my eyes are. The stay at home Gary.